Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and I welcome all of you back to another Dark Souls 3 OST reaction. And previously, we discussed Vort, the first boss Outrider Knight that you face in Dark Souls 3. You fight uh, Dancer, well, you fight, no, you fight Vort uh, at the bottom of the high wall of Lothric. He is sort of one of the uh, real main challenges of the game, where you escape through the walls of uh, Lothric and you are taken away to uh, the Undead Settlement and you're, it's basically where your pursuit begins uh, for the Lords of Cinder. And then, well, for those who... you it Well, I say Vort because you can fight Dancer like before Vort. You can gain access to Lothric Castle, a, pretty much the late game zone, almost at the very beginning of the game. But to do that, you have to be Dancer of the Boreal Valley. Definitely not one of the hot it's 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 certainly like um the hardest mid-game boss, I would say, that in, in the Dark Souls tr uh, trilogy, because no other boss uh, comes closer to Dancer in terms of like difficulty for for this position of the game. The only one that might possibly come as close as maybe Smelter Demon, but Smelter Demon's uh, difficulty isn't really through its mechanics. It's more through just the clunky hitboxes. Well, well, basically, the whole of Dark Souls 2 is quite clunky, but that's 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 besides the point. However, so here's the thing. Once you defeat uh, either Aldrich or Yorm the Giant... You are uh, transported away back to uh, the cathedral uh, just at the base of Lockford Castle. And before you get the chance to put a basin at the, uh, in the place to access the ladder to get uh, to Lockford Castle, the door slams shut behind you and, dan and the dancer just sort of drops from the ceiling and you have to fight her. Now, again, for those who... Uh, I, I do kind of want to speak a little bit about the actual, like, the presentation of the fight as well. Is for Just because I think it's it's so, so uh, good for for what they try to do. Uh, Dancer, just like Vought, is sort of biologically very abnormal. And this is probably through just machinations through... Pon it's, it's said somewhere, I believe, it, when you uh, get uh, the Dancer's swords, is that Pontiff experimented with a, a great deal on dancer in particular like you see like her legs are so abnormally uh like long she like hunches over she she sort of walks like this it's it's in, ex in an extremely unnatural fashion and this is where i sort of feel like a lot of macabre uh themes of 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 power and influence comes so heavily into this and it's all kind of all through really through through the through pontiff it, it's it really does i really get the impression that dark souls 3 really really wanted to paint pontiff as like an actual antagonist of the game because the dark souls trilogy doesn't really have antagonists it has well, it doesn't really have good people in it either, but uh, it definitely can't... But Pontiff definitely is, like, when it comes to, like, an actual um, villain, if you will. Now, the only other thing to note uh, that happens in the fight is that if uh, if, we're, if, if, uh, if the dancer sl uh, flails her flaming sword on any of the, the scenery around her, she will slowly start to set fire to the actual cathedral, which is something they never really do in these sorts of games. They don't really take advantage of the fact that you can uh, change the scenery or just make it look a little bit different. And that that's never really been a thing in these games before. But what's even more sinister and probably even more evil is how this all seeps into the OST. It's brimming with a lot of almost screeching violin notes. And what do I mean by this? Well... Let me demonstrate.
a word to describe uh, music like this, and that is fear. Fear creeps into this in the same way it sounds like fear is creeping out of the tortured soul of the dancer. Because, as I said before, if you know how this fight plays out, you know that dancer's uh, movements are... Not, not only does she look extremely unnatural, but her movements are abnormally strong. She can impale you. She can just sort of slap you back and forth. She could, like, leap in the air and just impale her swords into the ground. She could, like, do a hurricane of, uh, of like, death by just spinning around all over the arena. She can just... She can, like, find so many different ways uh, to uh, just to completely overwhelm you. And it's all through, like, uh, the, mod uh, the medium of dance. It might be one of the very few uh, examples in the whole of From Software where a boss is so categorized by the notions of, of dance, of movement. And it's not the first time we've seen this necessarily in uh, Dark Souls, uh, but... Certainly, this is one that sort of takes a lot more advantage. And it should, because Dancer was basically just so, uh, just an object of amusement for uh, Pontiff. Though it is also worth noting is that uh, Dancer doesn't... When you beat Dancer, you don't get the option of like taking a ring from her in the same way you get from Vought. So maybe Dancer was just sort of always as powerful as she was before being abducted by Pontiff, and the rest is history. by the way I, I love it whenever these sorts of fights come about because it's it, it's I, I, it makes you however kind of wonder why pontiff fought to keep dancer in this part just before you get to uh lothric castle or what exactly pontiff's plan was if he wasn't defeated earlier on in the game it, it, it's 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 there are some things in it that probably need would have could have done with a bit more questioning and uh, the only question I still have left left to ask is well, um, though actually no, I don't really have a question, but it's more just a an, an interesting observation is that any time you fight any boss in this game that has in any way anything to do with Pontiff, he always seemed to be very keen on putting you in arenas that were relatively quite small, from Vort to uh, Dancer to even when you fight uh, uh, Aldrich uh, uh, later on in the game. Because it, it's phenomenal how small Anno the, the arena for Anno Londo actually is when you when you think about it. And um, I'm not sure if I can remember any... Well, even when you fight that sort of that mad beast uh, before you enter Irithyll, you fight, uh, you fight him on this very narrow bridge. So Pontiff certainly had an, uh, the perfect ideas for not only torturing those uh, who were going to be his slaves... But he was also going to uh, torture people by putting them in a system of no escape. Tyranny is the key behind it. And I feel like we've talked a lot more about Pontiff and all this than the actual dancer. But I think I've just about said all I needed to say because it's still one of the better fights in the game. There's a lot of them, but that's one in particular. And with all that being said and done... I hope all of you guys enjoyed this reaction to Dancer of the Boy or Valley OST. And I can't wait to see all of you guys again in the next video. Take care and bye-bye for now.